Peter. Good morning, everyone, and thanks for a great start. Uh, John Pulley Blank and I are on this call. We were in Palm Springs yesterday morning, standing around in the sun. And uh, because of WestJet, I had five hours sitting in an airport to uh, rewrite most of this service. Here is a story from For All Ages. Long before Judaism, Christianity, and Islam were religions, the Zoroastrians in Persia wrote about immortal holinesses, beings that inhabited moral bodies but operate in the physical world to protect, guide, and inspire humanity and the spirit world. During the 500s BCE, the Israelites, who had many gods as well as pagan beliefs, were in captivity in Babylon and learned about monotheism and immortal holinesses, which they called in Hebrew malak, or messenger. One of these messengers or angels in the Israelite pantheon was called Gabriel. Gabriel was one who revealed things to humans and who would defend the people Israel against other angels. One day, the messenger angel Gabriel visited a devout Israelite man of the Levite tribe. Gabriel told the man, God has heard your prayers. Your wife, Elizabeth, will bear a son. The man argued that he was old and his wife was beyond child-rearing years, but Gabriel's mind was fixed. Gabriel ordered the man to name his child John. Six months after it had visited the husband of Elizabeth, the angel Gabriel visited Mary, also of the Levite tribe and a cousin of Elizabeth's. Gabriel told the maiden Mary that she would also bear a son. Gabriel said that Mary must name her son Jesus and the boy would be Emmanuel, which means God with us. Neither Elizabeth nor Mary should have been able to get pregnant. But Angel Gabriel told them that when God says something, it happens. To conclude this story, I want to draw your attention to the painting at the top of your order of service in a minute. The painting is called Mary and Elizabeth, and the painter is Lauren Wright Pittman, a Presbyterian minister in Atlanta, Georgia. The painting glorifies two cousins, both pregnant expecting new life where none was expected. This is one of the meanings of Christmas, whether angels announced it or not, that every child is a miracle. Let us sing together, Go Lift